friends, we are on week two of Reasonable Doubt. And today we're gonna to be talking about how when you guys doubt following Jesus is worth it, look to the Holy Spirit. And if you guys have ever questioned or had doubts about God, you guys are not alone. Since the beginning of creation, people have doubted. When we think about it, there's Adam and Eve who wish that they understood all of God's guidelines. There's Moses who questioned if God could really help him lead these people out of slavery or even Jesus' disciples who repetitively asked questions and voiced all of their confusions and questions that they had to Jesus. Jesus' friends began to doubt him, not only because of what they knew about him, but because of what they didn't know about him. In the Bible, we read a lot of stories about how people have decided if following Jesus was really worth it. And these people dedicated their whole lives and even gave up their lives to follow Jesus. But we also have to acknowledge that not everybody who Jesus encountered decided that following him was worth it. We're gonna see a story today in Mark chapter 10, verses 17 to 22, and it says, as Jesus was starting out on his way to Jerusalem, a man came running up to him, knelt down and asked, good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked, only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not falsely testify, you must not cheat anyone and honor your mother and father. Teacher, the man replied, I've obeyed all these commandments since I was young. Looking at the man, Jesus felt genuine love for him. There's still one thing that you haven't done, he told him. Go and sell all of your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasures in heaven, then come follow me. At this, the man's face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The rich man in the story wanted to know exactly everything he needed to do to experience eternal life. And if there was a list of correct things that he could have done and correct ways to live, he wanted to check off all those boxes. Because back in the day, the Jewish people were committed to following a lot of laws. And they were following the laws that were found in the Old Testament, but there was also a lot of human made up laws that he had to follow as well. And they weren't like our government laws that we see today, but instead they had rules about things like what to eat, when they should work, who they can't talk to. There were so many laws that it was really difficult for the people back in that day to really keep up with all of them at the time. But when Jesus interacted with this man, he didn't offer him a checklist of tasks to complete like he wanted. Instead, Jesus saw this man's motives and gave him the answer that he actually needed to hear. And if we could sum up what Jesus kind of wanted to tell him, he essentially was saying, God doesn't want you to give up only the things that are easy for you to give. You're being asked to give everything to love God and others. Jesus didn't really want this man's money. That's not why he asked for it. Jesus wanted his commitment. And Jesus could see that the young ruler really trusted his money more than he trusted God. But the man wasn't willing to go that far to give up everything that he owned. He was just looking to follow God in a way that was convenient to him, not in the way that would require his whole heart to really go into. So he walked away sad. Jesus' invitation to let go and to put others first simply wasn't worth it. And the story has a strange ending when we think about it. We kind of expect Jesus to maybe run after this rich kid, but Jesus doesn't force him to follow him. He simply invited him. There are also stories of people who decided Jesus was worth following even when it was difficult or frightening. Kind of like the disciples when Jesus was leaving to go to heaven. The disciples were really scared. They didn't really know what life would look like without having Jesus physically there with them all the time like they were used to for the past couple of years. But in their doubt, Jesus gifted to them and us with the Holy Spirit. So when you guys start to doubt or feel like you're wondering if following Jesus is worth all the effort, don't get upset with yourself for asking a reasonable question. Kind of like Jesus' disciples or even that rich man that we talked about a little bit earlier who turned away from Jesus, you too may have wonderings if following Jesus is worth it. Is it worth your discomfort? Is it worth your commitment, your sacrifice, or even your whole heart? But Jesus knew that we would struggle with 
with doubt sometimes. But that's why he decided to send his spirit to provide comfort, to provide wisdom, and even help for us. So when you are in doubt that following Jesus is worth it, don't give up and look to the Holy Spirit. This week, I want you guys to reflect. If you're at a place where you're deciding if following Jesus is worth it, ask the Holy Spirit to help guide you in that conversation and what you're feeling. And if you're in a place where you know that he's worth following, ask yourself why you're sure of it. When following Jesus got difficult for his disciples, Jesus promised to send his spirit. And today he promises the exact same thing for you and for me. And if you guys have questions, don't give up. Help is available. And when you guys doubt following Jesus is worth it, look to the Holy Spirit for guidance. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for today. Uh, I just wanted to thank you that you're just so open to hearing our doubts that we may have. Sometimes it could feel difficult or even scary when we look at what it looks like to follow you. But I just pray, no matter where we find ourselves, if we're in a place where we feel like you are worth following, I just pray that we continue to search and find deeper meanings of who you are. And if we're in a place where we're not sure if you're worth following, I just pray that we ask the Holy Spirit to just help guide us as we're deciding um, if you are worth the follow. So God, I just pray that as we're doing our reflections this week, that you're just able to help navigate the conversations or God. And I pray all these things in your name. Amen. I shall see you guys next week for our next week of Reasonable Doubt. See ya!